I know I told you in our story of the young Joseph in the Old Testament, Genesis chapter 37 and following through, that I would take you down to Egypt this week. And we're going to get there. But there's something else I believe we need to deal with before we get there. And that is, you remember when Joseph was coming across the flat and his brothers at a higher elevation saw him coming and they said, Behold, the dreamer cometh. Well, you see, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of dreams. And uh, a lot of times uh, when the opportunity arises, I'll just engage a stranger in a conversation. <laughs> I do it all the time. And I especially love to talk to young people. And, of course, uh, at my age now, almost everybody I talk to would be considered a young person from my perspective. But I like to get them talking about their ambitions of life. And I love to have them reveal to me their dreams and aspirations. Because almost every time when I engage in these type of conversations, I hear the dream and then I begin to hear from the individual the problems that they're encountering making the dream real. And I tell them, I said, follow your dreams and don't let anybody talk you out of it and don't let anybody steal your dream out of your heart. Well, you see, these brothers, that's exactly what they were about. They were all about squashing the dream because Joseph had had a dream. He'd had two of them. And he had one dream where these sheaves of wheat were bowing down to him. and Those sheaves of wheat represented his brothers. And he told that dream to them and they resented him for it. And then he had another dream where he said the moon and the stars were doing go by to him. And he told this dream to his brothers and to his father. And his father became angry. He says, are you saying that even your father and your mother is going to bow down to you? But you see, here's something that's very powerful about these dreams. You see, a dream is a glimpse from God. And when God shows you something and reveals something to you, that's a powerful thing because it'll drive you. You remember the Apostle Paul, he had a dream. He had a dream that there was a, the angel of God standing next to him and saying, Paul, you've been a witness to me. You will also be a witness to me in Rome. And you remember he went through that shipwreck and then he got on the island of Miletus and that viper came out of the fire and he should have fallen dead. He just shook it back in the fire. He, would, he knew he wasn't going to die because God had given him a dream. You see, Dreams are powerful. That's why I believe that Joseph didn't become angry and bitter because he realized there was something far greater ahead in his life. And now we go to Egypt. Scripture says, And behold, Joseph was taken down to Egypt. And we'll talk about that next week. This is Pastor Jack King with the Gospel on the radio broadcast.